Hello friends, it's Miss A from the Northeast Branch of Reading Public Library and it's a Wednesday night which means it's time for another Family Night Craft brought to you by Reading Public Library. Now today I am filming from my iPad because of technical difficulties so I hope you'll bear with me if the image quality is a little less good than usual. But this week we are doing something pretty exciting which is we are having a virtual painting party and we are painting frogs with little flower hats holding strawberries. So if you haven't already, make sure you pick up a go pack at the Northeast Branch of Reading Public Library. It'll have everything you need, except for a little cup of water and a paper towel. So let's get started. And I'm going to step you through, step by step, how to make this painting. All right, so to start out, I have sketched out what I want to paint. So I always find this helpful, but you can just paint along with me as I go through instead of sketching it out. But what I've done here is basically I've drawn a frog head it's basically a circle with two circles on top and I'll be talking you through this when we're painting as well. A strawberry here which is like an egg shape upside down with a little explosion of leaves on top. Then I have a mouth. You can draw your mouth however you want. Two eyes. I like to draw circles with little eyelashes but you can draw your eyes however you want. Two little nostrils so your frog can breathe. I like to add little freckles just because I think they're cute. We have some flower petals here for a bonnet. And then we have a frog body, which is two arms. And then they have these bendy legs. They go out like triangles. So it goes poke, poke, and then the feet, poke, poke, and then the feet. The feet, I have just sort of like three little triangles as the feet. And I have that for the fingers as well. If you want, you can look at this as a guide and draw it down on your canvas. Just press pause on the video and try to get this down or your own version of it. Or like I said, you can just paint along with the video. You don't need to sketch beforehand. Okay, so we don't have a pencil or a colored pencil or anything in the bag. If you need one, get it from the library. We'd be happy to give you one to draw this down, but you should have all different pots of paint in your set, in your go pack, you should have a paintbrush and this canvas, which you should have done this before drying, but if there's plastic on it, make sure you unwrap it because the paint won't properly stick. So I'm going to pour a little cup of water if you hear that off screen. I've got some paper towels that's good for changing the colors on your paintbrush. I like to just swirl my brush in the water and then dry it off on a paper towel. So let's get started. So the first thing that I like to color in is the green for the frog because that will take a little time to dry because we're going to outline our whole painting in black or whatever color you want. You'd always mix your leftover green with a little bit of black to make a darker green. It's up to you. There should be green in your pot. And basically I'm going to be filling in the face. I'm going to be avoiding the spots of the strawberry, the mouth, the eyes. If you didn't trace out ahead of time, you could approximate it, guess where it's going to be, or you can just make sure the green dries really well before you paint the eyes and stuff on top. Also, I'm going to be painting in the arms and the legs. So that's what I'm going to do first. And if you're following along, that's what you should do now too.
Okay, the head's done. As you can see, I'm trying to be careful about my brush strokes. So when we're painting, we have to remember that some of our paint strokes or the direction we move the paint is going to show when it dries. So instead of scribbling all around, unless that's how you'd like it to look because I want you to be creative, I like to keep all of my brush strokes going sort of in the same direction, the direction that the piece is moving. So this arm is sort of a 3D shape. So we can either show that by going all in this direction, or maybe going all in this direction to show the shape of the arm. Something consistent usually looks best, but like I said, be creative and ultimately paint it however you'd like. Just my little tip. You'll also notice as you're painting, if you didn't use a light color, if you use something bright, like an orange color pencil to draw your drawing underneath, you might see it popping up places. I like to keep that thin so you can see it for now because it's helpful when I'm drawing details on top. But if you get to the end of your painting and you can still see a lot of lines and you wanna cover them up, you can just do another coat of paint on top of the areas where you can see the lines. Okay, so I have the face, which like I said, is about a circle with two other circles on top. Then I have the arms, which are sort of these long tubes, three little triangles on the end. So now I'll do the legs, which I've already drawn, but otherwise it's sort of like a triangle out. And then three little triangles for the feet, and you do it on both sides. I think he also looks like he needs a little bit of belly there. So I'm just going to add some more green under here. You don't have to. And remember, this is a cartoony frog. We're not trying to make it look like a real frog here. So you draw your frog however you think looks nice. Basically, we're just laying down the green. We're going to add some black lines later. But I think this is all the green that we need for now. We'll add the strawberry later because we're going to make it a little darker. So that means it's time to clean off our brush. Like I said, you wanna get a cup of water or if you don't have a cup, you can run it under some water. And then wipe off that extra paint that's left or water on a paper towel. The library paper towels are not the best, most absorbent paper towels, but you gotta work with what you have. Okay, so once you've added the green, it should be looking something like this. So the face, arms, and legs, and optionally a stomach or a little butt. Next, we are going to be adding the whites of our eyes. Okay, so next up, like I said, I'm going to take some white paint and fill in these circles for the eyes. So I'm going to close my green paint pot. You always want to close them because that way they won't spread everywhere and also it'll keep your paints nice and wet so uh, this is actually really important that i forgot to mention but these are acrylic paints they do not come out of clothes they will stain so be very careful with them be careful if you're letting little children use them but they do dry really fast which is why i like them okay so i'm using the white paint from our paint pots and i'm just going to fill in the white circle so you wanna be careful where it touches the green. So if you don't let the colors dry completely first, they can blend together. So sometimes we like that, sometimes we don't. 
mine's already pretty dry here, but you can see there are lots of spaces where it's sort of shiny, where it's still wet. If there's a lot of shiny parts, you probably want to let it dry before you do this. If you want to be extra careful, you could always let it completely dry before you get onto the next part each time. It's up to you. All right, so I have the white colored in. What I'm going to do now, hmm. I'm going to add the pink for the mouth, I think. So I clean off my brush. I'm gonna wait for that white to dry before we add the pupils to our eye, the little black part. So I'll close this, open my pink paint pot, and fill in here. You could fill in the whole thing pink. You could do white and pink for teeth and tongue. You can do pink and black for pink tongue and black mouth. I think I'm going to go with the pink and black option, but I'll see how it looks. You could also use white to mix with your pink and do like a two-toned pink, so a darker one in the front or back, and then a lighter pink, so the pink mixed with some white paint for the other part. It's up to you, be creative. All right, so I've got that pink mouth. While I've got this pink out, I'm also going to color this strawberry pink. And this is important to note, you might have pink or red in your bag. If you'd like to make pink from the red, just add some white to it, or rather a little bit of red to some white but otherwise you might have red. So you do the strawberry and the mouth basically the same color there. So the strawberry is either going to be pink or red depending on what your palettes have. Sorry folks, the palettes only have so much space for so many colors, so I put an assortment of them out there. But this is a pretty dark pink, it almost looks red anyway. So I'm just coloring in the strawberry. And again, watch out if there are any shiny parts on the green where you're touching the strawberry to the frog's hands because otherwise you'll get a bunch of green in your pink strawberry or red strawberry. It might mix into a kind of ugly color. Alright, so I have the pink strawberry, I have the pink mouth, so I'm going to wash my brush, and then we'll go to the next step. For the next one, make sure it's dry around this edges, because we are going to add our purple flower. Update, this is what it looks like so far, with the pink added on top of that green, and the white on those eyes there. So I'm going to close Actually, I'll keep open my pink paint pot. I'm going to open my purple and I'm going to open my white. So we have an opportunity to blend some colors if we want to. Being a little tricky here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to start by laying down this purple all over my flower section. So if you haven't drawn your flower yet, basically you could start by drawing a hat shape on top of your frog like a party hat. There's a very famous picture on the internet. Maybe I'll see if I can add it in here or add a link. But it has a sort of cone-shaped flower. I'm not sure what sort of flower it is. It goes up like this, like a triangle, and has these petals coming out. So that's what we're trying to make it look like here. but almost like there's a party hat behind your frog first. And it goes behind the eyeballs, at least the way I draw it. 
You could do it something different if you think it looks better. If you like it more, draw it that way. I'll still be able to see my orange lines a little bit underneath to help me with the black, which is good. And now we're going to finish coloring the petals. So there's a petal underneath here, which we'll define with the black. But basically we have these sort of U, long U shapes as the petals coming out. And I like to add a little bit of a curve so you can see that it's going in towards the flower. So I'm imagining it underneath the eyeball and just, you might wanna outline it first. But we have these sort of petals going in, well not sort of, hopefully they are going to resemble petals going towards the flower and color them in once you've gotten them drawn. And if you do what I just did and you mess up and cover the green a little bit, that's okay, we can touch it up at the end and paint back on top of that purple. That's the nice thing about acrylic paints. All right, so I have the base for the purple down now. Let me show you what it looks like this That's way. what it looks like with that purple all filled in. So now we're gonna go in and I'm going to lay some white and pink sort of on top just to add some interesting colors. To the so I guess it doesn't matter so much if you get all the purple out or not. I'm just going to lay some pink right on there. And you wanna try to find spots that are still wet. So you can sort of mix them together. You don't have to do this. I just think it's a little fun to add. You can add whatever colors. You could add in some blue. You could add in some green if you wanted. Pink, white, black, whichever ones are the colors on the palette or if you have more paints at home. But you can just blend them in to give the petals a little more interest. find my center petal there. There we go. Okay, once I've added in a little bit of shading, we're gonna let it dry for a little bit because most of what we have left is going to involve parts that are wet right now. So just let it dry for a little bit and we'll be right back. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, make sure you close those paint pots I've been slacking. Yes, but as long as your paint pots were already closed, we're going to open another one, the blue, unless you had that one open, in which case, keep it open. I'm going to take the blue and we're going to fill in the white space on the edges of our painting. If you'd rather use a different color in the palette or that you have at home, that's fine. I'm going to use blue, but you could use the pink, you could keep it white, you could paint it black. Nothing is off limits.
All right, so I'm cleaning my brush because that is all of the blue filled in there. And we're going to wait again now and let that completely dry because next up we are adding black. Okay, friends, so now my piece is totally dry, so it's time to use our black. We're going to outline everything. And basically we're going to outline things, add some details in black, and then once everything dries of the black, you can go in and retouch any areas of color. The first thing I'm going to do is add some pupils to my frog. I like to see them, so he looks a little less creepy. So it's basically just a circle of black inside of your white circle. I'm going to add some little black lines for eyelashes under the eye. This is just what I like to do in a lot of my paintings. You don't need to do this. But if you want to add it, I recommend for these lines and for all of our outlines to just use a corner of your brush to draw with. If you want a thicker line, use the whole thing. If you want a thinner line, use the corner. Then I'm going to do my nostrils. You can use two circles, two little lines, whatever you want. And I'm going to fill in this white part of the mouth. Okay, so except for this little bit on the strawberry, there's no more white space on the paper. So what I'm going to do is keep dipping my corner of my brush and we're going to outline our whole painting. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but this is what I'm doing for this one. And you don't have to use black. If you'd rather have a pink outline, a blue outline, it's up to you. I'll add in these little flourishes in each flower petal. The line of the leg and the back and the front. Messed that up a little bit, but it happens.
if you have a smaller brush to do the outlines, I do recommend using it. I'm using this brush because that's the brush I've included in every pack, so I want you to see that it can be done. But if you have a smaller brush or even like a little Q-tip, it might be better for getting these fine outline details. But obviously, as you can see, it's totally doable with the brush in the pack. Adding some strawberry seeds with my brush, just giving it a little pat. I also outlined the top for the strawberry, which is the sort of last thing will fill in. You can either outline or not outline your eyes. I haven't decided if I will or not. But I'm going to outline my mouth. Trying to do it somewhat carefully. Not too bad. You know what? Yeah, I'll outline the eyes. See what it looks like. So my outline is all done. I'm going to rinse my brush. We're going to let it things dry and then we'll just add some final details. And here is what it's looking like right now. Okay, I do have to be careful because I haven't totally waited till it's dry. So I'm going to start adding a couple details here and there. I'll leave the green part of the strawberry for last since that part is definitely not dry, but I'm going to take some black just in a corner of my brush and add some little freckles because I think they look cute. I just do that by adding paint to the corner of my brush and then sort of poking the paintbrush onto the canvas to make little dots. Next, I'm going to take the pink. I'm going to also take some white. I'll put the white down first, but I'm just mixing on the palette. You can mix it on a little piece of paper, but I'm going to make some light pink cheeks for my frog. So I'm just putting the color right against the side of his face in a little semi-circle. And then I'm going to dip this in the pink and put it right on top. And they'll sort of mix together on there. So I want it just a little bit paler than it is on the mouth. And you can see what I was talking about about needing to let the paint dry. We have a little bit of black paint hanging out in the cheek because I was impatient. So I'm gonna add it to the other side too. All right, now I'm also going to take some white and I think I'm going to add just some little lines to the flower. I don't know if this will look good or not, but we're going to try it.
kind of crazy about how that looks, but it looks okay. I'm also going to add, I think, some little white twinkles or stars to the background. Just because I think it will look cute. I just add like a diamond shape, basically, and then pull out the corners a little bit more. Swoop it in so it looks a little fancy. I also add little plus signs, little circles. I think they all look sort of twinkly and cute. Add one down here. Now we've only got one thing left to do, y'all. Once you are done adding your fun little accents, we'll take the green one more time. If I can get it open. Come on. There we go. Take the green. Ooh, scary. Take the green. <laughs> and color in that strawberry top. If your paint's not totally dry, try to avoid the black parts. Though actually adding a little bit of black would probably make it look nice because it'll differentiate the color of your frog from the color of your strawberry top. Now this is the moment when, like I said, if those lines poking through a first layer of paint bother you, you can paint back over them. Um, I'll show you in a second. You can sort of still see mine, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to leave them be, but let's see the final product. All right, so here we are, just a simple, cute little frago with a flower on his head and a strawberry in his hands. So I hope you enjoyed this cute little paint night activity. And I'll see you next Wednesday for another Family Night Craft at 5.30. Bye, friends.